Welcome back to another episode, Mind Test Automations. And today we are looking at quarries with the Tech Pack mod pack. So, um, yeah, this is this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. No, just kidding. So we have a quarry which digs from this front side that has this um yeah, this animation. Almost looks like a like a Xerox kind of a thing going on here. Um and it digs a five by five square starting the node directly in front of this. So uh yeah, you basically count two spaces out or three spaces out rather and then two spaces out from there to get your five by five square. So yeah, it's like this. And this does require biofuel to run, which as we have not used in any of the previous videos, let me show how to get that real quick. We have a fermenter and a reformer. Fermenter, you put leaves in, any kind of leaves from default game work, or my test game, I guess I should say. Um, other leaves may work as well. I'm not positive what the code is. It might just check for group leaves. And then you throw the biogas into the reformer here, and that'll turn it into biofuel. And it looks like every four biogases gives you one fuel. And for the leaves here, it looks like three leaves give you one gas. So it gives you something useful for all those leaves you got sitting around. And then, yeah, you just pop the biofuel right into the slot here, and it burns the fuel. Um, it does have its own self-contained inventory, so you can use it without having... Oh, and you know what? I'm an idiot, and I turned off creative. That's because it was getting annoying, actually. I can't... Oh, it has to be turned off to break it. That's why. All right, so here we have the inventory just collecting into the quarry. So that's a possibility. But if you want... Oh, come on, really? If you want your stuffs to... Uh... I don't know if that's done right. Uh, that's backwards. Stupendous. I'll, I'll get this right eventually. Also, I seem to still be in creative. This is weird. All right, so now it'll it'll pull the items out of the quarry, throw them through the pipes here, into this chest right here. So that's it's pretty neato. Um, yeah, let's take another look at the quarry. So we have the start level, um, and this is at what point it starts digging. Negative one is the node that would be right here. So this node is negative one. Oh no. See, I must have creative on. But I disabled creative. Maybe world setting has it on. Whatever. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, negative one. So that's the node directly below it. If you wanted to start digging higher than itself, you can up to two nodes higher. And you can have it start up to 20 nodes below it. Up to below, yes, that makes sense. Down to 20 nodes below it. Um, you lose some granularity as you go deeper. Uh, I didn't want to do that. And then you have the digging depth of how many nodes deep it should dig before it stops. You max out at 100. You can use this, I was reading, as a automated cobble generator somehow. Um, I'm assuming you just put a row of lava like here and then water on the opposite side. And then as they join together in the middle, they create cobble. And then you would use a start level of whatever height that happens to be at with a digging depth of one. So it always just redigs the same portion. Uh, I didn't try that because I don't know who would possibly ever need that much cobble. But eh, if you need it, the possibility does exist evidently to do so. Now, of course, I mean, this is lame, right? So what it would make sense to do is um, we're going to stop this. We're going to break this. 
we're going to put this in. We're going to do quarry here. Um, wait, what do you mean pair is missing quarry? It's right here. It's literally right here. Pair is missing quarry. There we go, now it's working. Excellent. So now, when we kick this thing back into gear, yeah, we didn't want that. Thanks, but no thanks, go away. There we go. So now we should have our items from the quarry coming back over to, um, to this thing, which you will remember from, um, I don't know which one it was, Inventory management, something, another sorting, something. I don't know what it was called. It had some name though, and that was um, that was all this stuff. And we should be able to um. Oh yeah, because I I broke that. Okay. Well, actually, this should still work because we should be able to put it into the chest and then have the puller take it out of the chest. Excellent. Has this thing received anything yet? I have a feeling it may be broke. Uh, where's my, here we go. Do I have the mover on? The mover is not on, that's why it's not working. There we go, so we got some cobblestone and some silver sand and I have a feeling this might be broke. No, that looks right. Is the, is the Wi-Fi thing broke? The Wi-Fi thing is broke, that's why. All right, so it needs to be this way. There we go. I hope the other one's not broke. Better check that real quick. Cause it's, it's very possible. Oh no, that looks, that looks, that looks rare. All right, so now we should have stuff incoming. Hey, what do you know we do? We don't have silver sand going anywhere. Let's rectify that real quick. Oh, so let's turn this on. So now we have, I don't know what yellow was. Was yellow the garbage? No, it wasn't. Good, perfect, excellent. So now we have our sand. Ah, perfect. Going there. We have our, our cobblestone coming into here. And yeah, that's one way of tying it back into the system. Of course, another way of tying it back in would be just to run the pipes, you know, all the way over or build the sorting system closer to the quarry. But doing it like this is nice because it gives you one centralized location where you have your whole sorting facility and everything. And then wherever you put your quarry up, um, and of course you could omit this whole line of pipes and just shove the, the pair here right next to this. I don't know why it's saying it's blocked. It literally was just working. What is going on here? It literally just worked fine. That makes no sense. But there we go. That is, that's quarries. Um, yeah. There's really not much more to say. Um, yeah, so, so we'll wrap it up here. No, no point in wasting your time. So thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another episode. And I will see you then.